Obviously, the first question everyone's gonna ask, can I flash the small dot on this? Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. This is sort of basic R3 Zigbee. Well, technically it's not, but they look the same and I'm going to use this as a prop. The Zigbee device is already connected and ready for the showcase. And I'd like to introduce you to a Zigbee concept with Sonoff devices. Now, for a long time, all in favor of Sonoffs would uh, get the device, put it on the table, flash it with Tasmota and enjoy the device with the custom firmware. However, um, Sonoff basic R3 Zigbee version changes this because, well, technically it's possible to actually flash Tasmota Zigbee edition on the Sonoff why would you even want to do this? Before you stop this video, consider this. What is the main difference between Wi-Fi and Zigbee? Zigbee is unable to connect with all the services outside of your local network. So by default, Zigbee just works on your local Zigbee established mesh network. Now Wi-Fi, however, they can communicate with router directly and they can send packages outside of your home network, it's really, really hard to monitor this unless you're going to flash a custom and trusted firmware. So the question is, would you even consider flashing this? Not at all. Just use it as it is because it's going to work like any other Zigbee sensor or for that matter, well, let me just get this, like this IKEA socket. They're pretty much the same devices and all you have to do is just plug it in, pair it and you'll be able to use it without any security concerns. I also wanted to show you how easy it is to actually use a son of a basic R3 Zigbee with your existing setup. Now, if you want to know how to get started with CC2531, I have a video there for you. So click on this, you'll learn how to flash it without CC debugger and a couple of more details there. But if you already have your Zigbee2 MQTT setup, I'll show you in a couple of seconds how to pair it and how to control the socket plug. The pairing process is very simple, just hold down the button for a couple of seconds until it starts to blink. That's a reset, and once the device is reset, it will instantly pair itself with a CC2531 Zigbee stick. And that's it, once the, uh, the reset continues to flash, the device is ready. So let's go to Nodred and let's use it. So this is my MQTT in, and I'm using default topic and then my name of the Zigbee device, son of Zigbee one. I also use the RPE or you can use the delay node uh, to limit the input because it will flood uh, your debug messages if you're going to um, leave it as it is. So I've applied that and uh, that way when I press on the button on the sun of itself you will see the payload appearing in the debug now the payload is very simple it has just the state and the link quality which basically is the range of strength of the signal and if you want to control this just send the json file to the topic which ends with set and that's pretty much it when you click on on it basically turns it on and uh, when you click on off it turns it off so let me iterate this. Is it possible to flash Tasmota on CC2530 chip that is uh, inside of this Sono Basic R3 Zigbee edition? Yes, it's probably possible. But why would you even do this? Just enjoy your device and don't get paranoid about security. Right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick look into the Sono R3 Zigbee edition. And if you want to know more information about how it works and download the flows in this video, just go to the description of this video, you'll find a link to the article. As for now, thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, I do not have a posting schedule, so if you're interested in my content, it's best to follow me on social media, they're listed there for you and you can pick the one you like. As usual, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Take care! Bye!